What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for hanging out today. We got some fun bolt action for you here. Uh, this is the Oddball Sherman. So if you haven't seen Kelly's Heroes um, and you uh, are a World War II fan and all that, movie fan and all that, um, you have to check that movie out. It's an old one, but it's perhaps one of the best. Um, we'll put a link in the description uh, for you guys as well. But speaking of that, uh, before we get into the video and the unboxing, when we take a look at the oddball Sherman here, um, if you guys could drop us a like and a subscribe as well. Uh, hit us up in the comments. Let us know what you think about the movie. Um, if you've seen it, of course, uh, and just in general, um, the uh, the Sherman that we're going to represent here, which is basically the late model 76. So we'll get this open here. And uh, the nice thing that Warlord's done too is basically they've created this whole set of special rules around um, the things that they've produced from the movie. So there's the Hollywood Tiger kind of brewing up here um, and some of the individual uh, characters and stuff. So if you wanted to feel the actual platoon that they had, they have rules for it and it's pretty damn fun. So anyway, guys, we'll get this open for you here in just a second and then we'll take a look. Alrighty guys, we got everything opened up here for you, so you get quite a bit in here. So first off, of course, decal sheet. We'll probably use a little bit of that just to make it look uh, like it is supposed to from the movie. Uh, the ubiquitous Working with Warlord Resin Kits sheet, because it is a resin Sherman. Um, you get a pretty cool booklet here, which gives you basically like the full-on uh, rules for using um, the guys from Kelly's Hero. So there's stats for the individual figures um, on foot, so Oddball, Kelly, uh, Big Joe, Crab Game, etc. And again, if you don't know uh, who we're talking about here, please go watch the movie. It is amazing. Uh, but um, rules for, like, again, like the, not just the uh, the Shermans here um, and some of the infantry from uh, the American side, but uh, the Hollywood Tigers and all that stuff. So, and that, you know, Warlord has models for it too. So, it gives you a full on guide with points and stuff if you want to use this in the game. Obviously, this wouldn't be for like regular, like competitive play or anything like that. Um, don't think anyone would allow that. Um, there's a lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff here, but uh, Warlord does a good job with that, and again, it's a pretty neat little booklet here, and some suggestions, too, on other things to pick up if you want to sort of flesh out some of the forces and stuff seen in the movies, so um, so initially, they did start out with three Sherman, so you can get pick up some extra M4A3s, as it says here, to use uh, as Mo and Whiskey's uh, tanks uh, before they eventually got knocked out. Um, a couple of half-tracks and stuff, too, would be a good idea, and then um, some extra guys to fill out the platoon, and on the German side, uh, things like the half tracks, uh, flak fueling for the, um, the the train yard scene and stuff like that. So lots of good stuff there. But let's jump into the model. That's really why we're here. Um, so all kinds of metal bits here to basically customize and kit out the tank fully um, uh, to make it look like uh, you know Oddball's actual Sherman did in the movie. So uh, this thing here is actually a loudspeaker. So um, uh, you know so you can blast your uh, Hank Williams. Uh, when you're uh, gunning down the bad guys, so lots of neat stuff there. Speaking of the man himself, got oddball. Um, uh, let me check this from the other side, actually. Oops, there we go. Uh, think Moriarty is supposed to be the guy on the right here, then uh, whoever the other tanker is. Um, oddball himself, of course, on the top here. Um, so again, Warlord does make separate uh, on foot guys for these two, some of the hatches and stuff like that. Um, again, more bits here. So, got the 50 cal and then the 76. So, the business ends there. Um, basically, like a coffee can or tea teapot or whatever it's supposed to be. Uh, the Turk as well. Um, so, I can't remember. I think in the movie it's called Pachuco, but um, uh, they're just calling him the Turk in here. Um, so, anyway, so he's riding on the turret there as we saw from the. Um, initial pose. Uh, then basically the tank itself is resin. So we got everything here as we have a very noisy train going by in the background. Um, so a uh, little bit of cleanup work of course here to do but by and large no like major slip ups in the casting or anything like that. So uh, good detail there. The turret itself of course um, already has a lot of bits and stuff kind of uh, molded on there, sculpted on there, however you want to refer to it, but um, little bits and bobs all over, so it's definitely going to be one when it's fully assembled, like you're going to have really you know, need to take your time painting this thing, uh, just to really capture everything, and you know, uh, the assumption probably is, you know, if you're, if you're picking this up, you're probably going to put the time in to make it look uh, pretty cool, so I um, don't know why you'd be picking this up, otherwise unless you just want a really unique looking Sherman, uh, which is still a cool reason, so um, 
But anyway, oddball there, and then all the bits and pieces there, so a little bit of work on the Sherman turret there, and then the main body itself here, guys. So, again, when we say there's just a ton of extras on this thing, uh, again, it's basically like a um, mobile uh, armored supply uh, and provisions uh, carrier at the same time, too. They just have literally everything on here, foodstuffs, uh, uh, ammo, who, who knows what else, but uh, as you can see, this thing is festooned with extra bits, including like the normal um, axes and shovels and whatever that you know, you'd see on the tanks and tank models. So again, really gorgeous, good job here on Warlord's part with the resin. It's a big old pipe here, of course, is to maybe add it onto the barrel, make it look like a 90 millimeter to scare the krauts. Uh, again, more movie references there, so again, go watch the movie. Um, a little bit of work, of course, to do on the bottom here, So, but otherwise pretty crisp overall. One thing I do have to say I'm a little disappointed in, as you can kind of tell here, so at the front of the um, track guards here, so it's not too bad on the um, right side here, uh, but um, I don't know if the casting or something slipped up or just super thin here. You could probably just, like, poke a hole through that, so we might have to add a little bit of uh, like green stuff or whatever just to tidy that up a little bit, um, but that's a little bit of a rough spot there, and, and otherwise pretty damn good model, so, um, and again, kind of front view here, so uh, again, hull machine gun, hatches and stuff, um, we'll pop the turret in here for you guys real quick, um, so yeah, oddball Sherman, so this is going to be fun, we are going to pick up um, a couple of the other uh, Shermans at some point, and then um, the, the rest of the platoon here, just to have in some fun games uh, for you guys uh, once we get a little bit closer to um, getting all the stuff painted. As you can kind of see, it, you can see a little bit of that um, from the top side too, so we're going to have to definitely patch that up, so that again is a bit of a disappointment. Um, something hopefully that uh, isn't in every uh, uh, kit of these if you do pick, these up, pick this thing up. So, um, and again, cool to use in a regular game, you know, you can just use it as a regular old um, M4A3 with the 76, um, certainly works for that, definitely a unique piece on your board, um, and part of your army, so if you do a good job painting it up, of course, but, uh, I think, you know, mostly if you're picking this up, you're, you're picking it up for the nostalgia and, uh, you know, your love of, uh, Achilles Heroes, so, um, again, Warlord has some pretty funny, uh, rules here that are worth, uh, playing just a fun, goofy game, just a, um, uh, you know, beer and pretzels kind of laid-back, casual game, uh, to, play out some of the scenes and stuff from the movie, so certainly um, well worth uh, doing that. And most people probably already have most of the collection, um, or most of the pieces in their various collections to accomplish that. So, but again, worth picking this up and maybe the Hollywood Tiger or three of them. I think, yeah, I think there were three in the movie initially, along with a couple other Shermans, which you might already have. And then, um, you know, just picking up the other infantry box that gives you basically all the, um, uh, all the American side of that, and then the, uh, the German, um, tank uh the tiger ace there basically as well so um and again full set of rules for all of that in uh this thing i'm sure they probably included in the hollywood tiger and in the infantry set too so again if you want to recreate this um just you know one of the best world war ii movies ever so um uh, definitely check out the oddball sherman guys um highly recommended um we'll put a link in the description again uh to warlord but also um uh, to uh, the movie so you can uh, find various places to watch that if you don't already have it in your uh, film collection. So let us know in the comments, guys, what you think. Uh, do you already have the Oddball Sherman? Have you tried out some of the funny rules here? Um, uh, if you like the movie, drop us a comment. Let us know what your favorite scene was or scenes. Hit us up with some of those movie quotes and uh, those just gorgeous one-liners. Um, whether it's Oddball or whoever else, um, let us know, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed here. Hit that like and subscribe again. Um, also, check out the link uh, as well over to Warlord if you, again, do want to pick up anything there that helps uh, support us even more. So I appreciate everybody who's been doing that, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.